wondering how I came about this thick consistency and texture of tomato stew base? Keep watching. In today's video, I will show you how I make my thick tomato stew base that has no sour taste. Ensure you watch till the end. The ingredients I'll be using are tomatoes, red bell pepper, tatashi, habanero pepper, ginger, garlic, and onion. So I will first of all cut my tomatoes, bell pepper, and tatashi into tiny pieces and steam for 10 minutes before the next step. I won't be steaming my ginger, garlic and onion so I will take it out now. One good thing about this method is that it takes away the taste that people always complain when they are making their stew. It takes away excess water. It reduces do cease the cooking time of course we are going to steam it for 10 minutes so we don't have to steam it for a longer time for example if we are to blend all the tomatoes now before steaming it so it's going to take a longer time and it also still retains the nutrients that the whole um, ingredient has because we are not cooking it for a longer time The consistency soup comes out thick and smooth. So guys, we are done cutting. We are going to transfer straight to the pot. I won't be adding water because tomato has its own juice. So when I will start cooking it, the tomatoes are going to bring out the juice that will help the bell pepper and the tatashi to get soft while cooking, including our habanero pepper. So this is our 10 minutes time, guys. Uh, just take a look at the juice that these tomatoes brought out and let's check our tatashi and see how tender it is yeah it's already soft so i will go ahead to take it off the heat allow it to cool a little bit before transferring it to my blender so guys it's cool i will now transfer to my blender Look at a whole lot of water would have waited to dry up while cooking it. If I am to take the different method, guys, I'm going to transfer all the tomatoes into my blender. So look at the lot of water we brought out. Oh, so this at this point I'll be adding in the ginger the garlic and my onion into my blender bowl and then blend everything together if you've watched to this point kindly like share my video by so doing it reaching more people subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell button so that you will always see my video when i drop it one secret with this method of tomato stew base is that the quantity of tomatoes I'm going to use or you're going to use will be bigger than the quantity of your bell pepper and tatashi you are going to combine it with. We are done blending. Let's check uh, what's the outcome. So guys, look out our tomato stew base see how thick it is see how smooth it is just check out the texture just check out the consistency so guys just look at this so with this your stew is halfway done you can do make it in large quantity and store up in your freezer just take a look at the thickness and smoothness Go on and transfer this to your storage plates. 
and put it straight up into your freezer this can stay in your freezer for like two to three months all right guys thanks for watching see you in my next video bye bye like and subscribe to my channel love you bye bye